Hey everybody, it's Billy Williams. Absolutely appreciate you guys being here. Today we're going to look at building automated process workflows. An automated process workflow is how you set up the automation to run within your tools. I don't care what tool you're using in your agency. Let me stress this. I'm showing you the data and marketing supercenter, but I don't care what tool you use. The key is to find the functionality within your tool and then set up the automation so that the things we're showing you today will work. You just need to find it. So what is an automated process workflow? Well, here are the steps. Choose steps you want to automate. Choose the day and time that you want the automated steps to start or stop. Modify the email, text message, and phone scripts that you're going to use. Build the workflow into your automated tool. And when needed, actually start the process. Again, guys, I don't care what tool you use. So Workflows is a great time-saving tool that allows you to group several client activities into one simple sequence. Then you can launch the sequence with one click. For example, let's say you have a new client, Sally, and you want her to you want to set her category to client, you want to add a couple of flags, you want to start her on an autoresponder, and then add a note to her contact record. I can just go to her contact record and choose Workflow from the action menu. Here are the workflows that I've already built. Now I know the one I want to run is new client. But just to be sure, I'll hit the review. This screen will confirm the actions that this set is about to perform. Now I hit run workflow. And all actions are run, all in a couple of seconds. Let's go behind the scenes and see how the workflows are created. Go to settings and then workflows. Here's the list of workflows. I've already created some. So let's build a new one though, for this purpose. I'll call it customer upgrade. In this example, we'll have a customer who is buying her buying your blue widgets and now is upgrading to your green widget product. Here's the screen where I select the actions I want to put in my workflow. For this set, I'm going to remove the flag blue widget and then I'll add the flag green widget. Then I'll set the category as high value client. I want to stop any autoresponders this client is currently on, so I'll do that like this. If I wanted to add a delay in this sequence, here's how I do it. Now, the action set will pause for 30 days before it moves on to the next step. Then I'll start them on the green widget autoresponder series. All of my to-do plans are related to the blue widget client, so I'm going to add a step that will stop all of the to-do plans just in case this client is on one of those. Finally, I'll add a note to the client record and send them an email. Now here's my workflow all built and ready to go. If I needed to reorder these actions for any reason, I could just drag and drop the actions like this. If I ever want to come back in here and remove or edit a step, I'll do it like this. Guys, workflows are powerful, okay? They're easy to create, easy to use, and they're a great time saver. I want to stress again, I don't care what tool you have in your business, your agency, just find the functionality within the tool and set up the automation the way that we're showing you. If you have the data supercenter, that's even easier.